Okay, so I'm going to make a quick video to show you how to create and save and reload and share custom rooms in Rec Room. So to get started, um, you got to go to your watch. So I'm going to turn off the streaming cam. So now you can see my first person view. So you want to start with the custom rooms button. So if you want to create a custom room, go here. Here you can browse all of the custom rooms that are currently online. You can search them, see any rooms you've created. But here we want to create. So I'm hit that create button. You can create any kind of custom room, anything that's in Rec Room. Uh, so you can create your own custom paintball or, or laser tag. Uh, but in this case, I want to make something more like a clubhouse or an event space. So I'm going to start with the lounge. I want to make sure it's in sandbox mode. So you've basically got two choices. You can create a custom room in standard mode, which means that if there's game rules like paintball, uh, they will apply and you can't place your own stuff. In sandbox mode, none of our game rules will be running and you can place your own stuff. So it allows you to customize the room a lot more. So in this case, that's what I'm going to do. Sandbox mode engaged. Okay, so here's my custom sandbox lounge. You've created a custom room. Your room is invite only until you decide to publish it. Okay. You can name and publish oh. this room by pressing this room on your watch. This room. Okay, so like I said, this is my custom lounge. So it looks pretty much like a regular lounge, um, but we're in sandbox mode. So we're gonna be able to change it a lot. So to do that, we're gonna head over to the sandbox machine, which is over here, this is the sandbox machine. Um, so first thing to notice is see this yellow bar here up the top. Um, this is like a resource bar. This basically means um, how much stuff can I put in the room? Once this bar is full all the way to here, uh, that means you can't place any more stuff. So I want to start from kind of a blank slate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this uh, I'm not sure if you can see it on the streamy cam. I'm going to hit this recycle all button. I'm going to press and hold it. So yeah. Okay, so now as I kind of teleport around you can see that the room's pretty much empty. Um, there's a few things left in here um, and over time we want to get rid of more stuff so you can have a completely blank slate. But for now, it's pretty empty. And so to build my room, I go back to the sandbox machine. I'm gonna start with some furniture. So let's say I wanna like create a little lounging area with a coffee table. I'm gonna step through the items in here. Here's a nice looking couch. I'll grab that out, throw that over there. There's another couch, throw that there. Um, maybe let's have coffee table. All right, that seems pretty good. You probably can't tell, but that, that yellow bar is starting to creep up. And if I grabbed tons of stuff, uh, it would start to fill up again. But right now I'm gonna place these objects in a more organized way. So a couple of tips on moving things in Rec Room. So number one, when you're moving sandbox items, very often what you wanna do is intersect your hand through what you're picking up. Cause that way it won't move when you pick it up. So if like, I just wanna move this table a little bit, put my hand through it, grab it, and I can just make a fine adjustment. So grab, move, grab, move. So with that in mind, let's see, I'll put this right in the middle here, like this. Yeah, seems good. Then I want the couches on either side. So let's go get these couches. So again, I'm gonna intersect my hand through here, pick it up. Now, a really good trick for, let me face the camera here, a really good trick for dealing with you know, large or, or unwieldy objects is pass them from hand to hand. So you see my left hand's free, my right hand's, oh, where's my left hand going? I was tracking for a second. Uh, my right hand's holding the couch, my left hand's here. So I can grab it here. Now I'm holding it from there. I can grab by this top corner. Now I'm holding it there. I can grab from the bottom. That makes it way easier. So I can rotate it by kind of passing it from hand to hand and get it into the orientation that I want much more easily, like that. You can also like throw and grab stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that passing from hand to hand is a good trick for getting it into a manageable state so it's easy to place it where you want it. So you can see it's pretty easy for me to get the couch where I wanted. Let's go over here. All right, same deal, pass it from hand to hand. I'm gonna grab it kind of in the middle. 
make it easy to get it where I want it. Okay. Adjust this table a little more. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So, now my, you know, my living area is very simple, I know. I'm not gonna spend hours uh, building stuff for this video. I've got it basically the way I want it, so I'm gonna save. So I'm gonna turn off the streamer cam. Hang on a second. All right, there we go. So to save my room, I open up my watch, I go to this room, and I hit this save button. Save. Um, and now I need to enter a name, so I'm gonna tap here. It's gonna bring out the keyboard. Um, and so I'm gonna give it a unique name. So I'm gonna call this one Ribbly Four, because I've been making some test rooms. I gotta give it a description. So good trick is to press and hold the delete button. Um, what was it? Test club. Okay, and then by default rooms are published. That means other people can find them in the browser or search for them by this name. Since I'm making a video, I don't want anyone else turning up. So I'm gonna unpublish this room. This means it's private to me and the people that I invite. So if I just wanna be by myself in here, make sure your room's unpublished. Okay, so the room is saved. I'm gonna press the menu button on my controller to close the watch. Um, so looks pretty good so now that it's saved if anything happens to it so let's say you know I move the couch in a way that I don't like move the table in a way I don't like go back over here to the sandbox machine let's say I have a wild party and there's like glasses everywhere like this oh my goodness what a mess right so what I can do is I go back to my watch and hit this restore button. Restore, I'm gonna lose my unsafe changes, that's fine. Okay, and it's back to the way we saved it. So now you can like experiment, go back, people can come, move things around, you can always go back to the safe state of your room. Basically it'll be the way you saved it every time. If I leave and come back, it'll be in the safe state as well. Um, so, another really cool thing is, you know, sometimes you want to bring people over so that they can, you know, sit in the couch and everything, but you don't want them to move the couch. And so, I want to show you how to freeze things in place. And to do that, uh, we need the maker pen. So, hang on a second. I'm going to turn the stream cam back on. Let's go get the maker pen. So, that's in the creative category. This is the maker pen here. Um, so you're probably familiar with the Maker Pen if you've played, played charades or if you've messed around the sandbox before. Basically, it lets you draw things in space and you can grab them. They become physical objects. Um, and yeah, you can get real, real, really creative with this thing. Um, but you can also use it as a kind of general purpose editing tool. And over time, we're going to be adding a lot more functionality to this. This is kind of like your, your interface for editing things in sandbox mode. So let's come back over to our couch. Um, so rather than build, you know, geometry with the maker pen in this case, I'm actually going to put it in, you should be able to see this, I'm going to put it in advanced mode by pressing this advanced button, and I'm going to hit this edit button. So edit basically says, whatever I, whatever I put in this yellow sphere uh, and pull the trigger, it's going to edit that object. So I'm going to get a little closer, side a little bit, so I'm going to intersect this couch, you see it pops up, whoop, see it pops up a menu. There's a frozen check mark on here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and freeze that couch. Now I can't grab it, no one else can grab it. If I unfreeze it, now I can move it again. Uh, frozen. I'm gonna go ahead and freeze this. Frozen. Go ahead and freeze this. Frozen. Now, uh, no one can move this stuff. So that's a pretty handy tip. Um, I want to go deeper on the maker pen. There's a lot more cool stuff you can do with this thing, but I'll save that for a second video because this one's getting kind of long. So that's saving, creating, saving, and uh, restoring uh, custom rooms, custom sandbox rooms. And uh, if you want to share it with others and have them find it, have it be public, press that, uh, go to this room, press the publish button. So that's the basics. Um, hit us up on the Discord and the Reddit if you wanna know more, give us feedback. We're gonna be building this feature out a lot over the next few months. So um, can't wait to see what you create. Okay, 